So, hi everyone. My name is Vidi Kaminti. For those who don't know me, I'm from Nairobi, Kenya, where we like to start our sentences with me, I. So, <laughs> me, I, I'm Vidi Kaminti, and I'm so happy to see you. And my co host is. Felix Lantern. And our other co host is. Tobi Shabam from South Africa. Yes, so. exciting to be here once again at this uh, Endeavor 2023 to see us having a conversation around the Africa agenda. I remember last year in Kigali, which was my first uh, movement event as a Wikimedian, we spoke about so many things and the need to have uh, us continue with the issues we raised from one Endeavor. What do we do in between before the next one? So this session is all about that, the Africa agenda. We've consolidated everything that we care about as African Wikimedians into one document that is going to help us like, have a reference point to say this is one, two, three issues. And in the next four, three months, this is what we want to get done. And in that other page, this is who should get it done. So that is the whole idea about this session. And then we followed up with the birth of the Africa Baraza, which is the space that we've had in this past couple of months from Me, I, um. <laughs> So um, we've had the Africa Baraza give us a platform to have these dialogues, to uh, consolidate our documents. So today what we want to do is just to see who has read the document so far? What do we feel is missing? And then by the end of this wiki in Gava, we are going to have the final document that we will all feel comfortable to see. This is our Africa agenda. And then hand it over to uh, WISCOM and any other uh, res respective stakeholders that can help us uh, implement that. Does that sound like a plan? Does it? So one of the things when we started the Baraza, we also worked towards having was a logo. And this small video can give us an idea of what the Africa Baraza logo looks like. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I will hand it over to my co-host. All right, thank you, Winnie. And that was just a short video of how we formed the Baraza Level. Um, like Winnie rightly said, the Baraza has been the space where we convened to talk about things that are important to Africa, and to the issues that are important to us. And one of the big issues that came up, one of the big issues that came up from uh, Wiki Endeavor 2022 was to curate an agenda. So I know most of you have heard the Africa agenda. You're wondering what is this Africa agenda? Yeah. So for anybody here who knows what the agenda is, can you please tell us? If you've heard of the Africa agenda of how it's with it is, can you tell us what you know it is or what you think it is? So I'll call one of them and one <laughs> just to blow in the room and one community member. Okay, let me, do, let, me, let me just do this. Anyone here who has heard of the Africa Baraza, Africa Baraza can you please raise your hand? Sorry, Africa agenda, sorry. <laughs> Anyone who's head of the Africa agenda, can you please raise your hand? Anyone who believes they know what the Africa agenda is, can you please make your hand? Is this real or? Okay, I see a hand over there. So, how many of you have read the agenda document? Let me see your hands. Okay, 
So you don't know what it is, but you've read the document. So the document is not that comprehensive, I guess. You don't want us to call you. Okay, that's what I'm calling you. <laughs> so, literally, the Africa agenda. So, literally, the Africa agenda is a piece of document that captures all the plights of the communities of the African people in just one single document. Now, the idea of the agenda was requested for by the community itself. So, at the end of working number 22, the community was asking for a place where we can put the things that are needed on the continent for stakeholders and partners alike to know how to help us in the moment. And so, the agenda has been curated through the Africa Baraza. And now, just give us a little bit of but The Africa Baraza was created at the end of Wiki number 22 to provide a space for Africans to convene, talk about these issues beyond the conference. And so, beyond the conference, we'll be talking about the Africa agenda. And through the Africa Baraza, the Africa agenda has been curated. I want to see by hands anybody here who has participated in any of the engagement sessions for the Africa Baraza. And if you don't raise your hand, then... So, it's been led by the community, supported by the community, and it's been curated by the community. However, Wisconsin seeks to be the body that will take up the Africa agenda to execute on our behalf. I will hand over to Bobby to speak a little bit about his vision for the Africa agenda and what he, he thinks of the future. Thanks, please. The Africa agenda is seen in the Everyone has an agenda. Yes. Try to put a particular agenda. <coughs> the, Africa, the African agenda is pushing the agenda of Africans. Simple and clear. Where is it pushing those African agendas? What, what, where, what, what, what is, where is it pushing? What space? There's the Wikimedia movement. Every time when you read the documentation, or write-ups that are policy-related problems, anything that has to do with uh, the movement. It's this voice, the African voice, the African agenda pushes the agenda of Africans in all of those organizations. That's the agenda. What we want to see is for this document to be eventually adopted by the entire community of Africa, and then after that, be the voice of Africans. So today, I want to in, um, ask you, sure, sure. I want to ask you today to engage with the document, read the document. Reading is not nice, especially reading documents like the you know policy documents. It's not nice. Ask me, I know. Uh, because you have to study it, you know, it's not language that is written from, you know, when you're writing a uh, Facebook status, it's very simple, it's nice, you know, but when you are <coughs> reading a policy document, you actually have to think about why do they put that, why do they phrase it like that. So, it is a document that speaks to the challenges that we have and how we aim to solve those challenges. That is the African idea. Thank you, Roger.
So if uh, somebody mentions a point that you really agree with or yeah, you want to endorse, the way we always say plus one, can we stamp our feet in agreement? Or just to, yeah. Sorry? Oh, that's coming. Oh, so shall we like this spoken word? Sounds like a vibe, yeah? Alright, great. So, let's kick it off. This bit will be a very open conversation. Any questions you have, any issue that you've seen in the Africa Baraza, anything that you feel should not miss there, this is uh, the moment to have that conversation. So, for those of us who engage with the document, what questions do you have as we move on, like questions that you'd like answered in this wiki endeavor around the Africa agenda. Possibly, what is not captured in the document that you would like to see? So if you've read it, we want to just pick your mind on like what the status of that document is now. Is it singing to you? Is there something that is missing? Is there something that really speaks to you that you have to follow in this one? that are looking at developing and all the, the, the problem 
the problems of Africans and putting it into a document that is actually making the Australian community respond. We are responsible for listening to you and then putting it into one document so that it, you know, it's organized, you know, it's, it's having a voice. Uh, that is called African agenda. I wanted to say something very important, but it escapes. Well, I can add a little bit to that. So, basically, the Africa agenda started, uh, the curation of the documents Africa agenda started in the first quarter of this year, through the Africa browser. And we've had a series of conversations with the community to gather input on what is the applied, what is important to them, that needs to be um, paid attention to, and this have all been included in the document. As I speak to you right now, the document has been sent out for a community consultation, so community folks are leaving their comments on there, adding their inputs to it, and all of this would be consolidated into the document, and then there will be a second consultation process again, I think after post weekend now, after which it will be sent uh, out for publication, and then socialized within um, the networks of our key partners and stakeholders. Just so everybody is aware, this is a document that is coming up. And so I would say the African agenda is simply something that belongs to you, me, you, and everybody in this room, basically. It's just been your forces that have been collected into this piece of document that is telling the story and the means of Africans. Any questions? Any thoughts? Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I uh, have a question. It's like this. Um, actually, it's like between uh, egg and chicken, what comes first? <laughs> yes. For Africa agenda, do you probably have an agenda that 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 station of Sunday? making priorities. Is there an agenda also to include women in also setting priorities? Because in Africa, uh, women participation has been always a challenge. So, the reason why I said what comes first between uh, egg and, and chicken is that Africa Baraza came out with something. There is a reason why it came. And then, it's like, if we also don't have an agenda to push a certain agenda in the beginning, and then the agenda is no longer agenda. Thank you so much, you can answer me if you want <laughs> Thanks for this question, it's truly a very wonderful question, because this is a conversation that we have We had a very um, heated Conversations about this. And the reason why it was heated is because of historical reasons. Why do we find ourselves here? Why is all structures of Wikimedia dominated by men? What, what is that? Why? But it's historical. But one of the things that we want to change is to be inclusive in our approach and to be intentional in our inclusivity. What? Oh, what? What? To to Papa, how you? To <laughs> to reverse the the historical injustices that were happening when we did our setup, when these structures were set up. That's what we want to do. I hope it answered you the first part. It's historical. Why you find yourself having a? That is a very good question. One two. Hope, hope you can hear me. Yeah, that's a, that's a very great question that you're asking, uh, Candy. Um, it's a very great question that you're asking. Mm -hmm. I need to understand by saying uh, the African agenda is by is by you. You know, it's 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 a document that is is actually owned by you by every one of us. These are our, our comments and uh, suggestions that were made by the community. If they did not make it, this is not there. I did not feel when we were putting together uh, that document, a comment like yours, which means we need to end there. We are only custodian. We're only collecting as we score. We're only collecting, putting together and curating, and then showing it back to you and say, is this how you want it to be like? And then you say, yes. So that comment 
I did not hear it. However, I heard the comments that included the LGBTQ to say, okay, we hear about gender, but what about the LGBTQ community? So it's kind of there. That's the question. That's the answer. So and then on Sunday, there will be the prioritization session to help us figure out what needs to come in the order of things, right? Once we figure that out, we will do another consultation with the community, speaking Daba, just to make sure that we got it right. Then after that, there will be the publication of it, which still you could make inputs to it if there are any more inputs to be done. Then we will separate it within our stakeholder communities. By that, we mean the Wikimedia Foundation, partners in Europe, all, so they know exactly what our plights are. So they don't come to us with what we think should work in Africa, but what we want to work in Africa, basically. So is that clear on the process? Exactly. So thank you very much for asking that question. I think we need to wrap up this session. We already went over 40 minutes. So we need to wrap up this session, right? Can get anybody? Sorry. Okay, so one more question if there is before we wrap up this session. Okay, Florence. I need to know. So I think it's really important. I'm glad that we've got to this stage because it's been a long time planning. It's good for um, actors to be proactive rather than reactive to uh, outside to actually choose our own way path and um, path forward. The question, though, and it's not really a question; it's more just a thought. Um, these is that as you said, it's a living document. Yes. So at some stage, it will be the agenda for twenty twenty three when most. But it will have to be reviewed because if we see how far we've come in the last 10 years, it won't be relevant in five or 10 years later. So please, we also have to say that it has to be reviewed like every two years, every four years, what is the system like? So let's make sure that from the beginning there's a kind of a, an intentionality to also change, to make sure that it's completely on the way. I think we need to wrap up this session and move on to the next. Uh, we're going to have to move this to the next. For the next, for the, for the next session, maybe, let me just hand over to you. So the next session is going to be on the Wisdom Charter. Just a brief about what the Wisdom Charter is. So at the end of 2022 in Rwanda, there were two requests that was made. The first one was to create a set of documents that set out the African issues and problems. And that is the Africa agenda. Now, there was basically a question who does what on the continent? And who takes up certain kinds of money that nobody's filling on the continent? And Wisdom was charged with that responsibility. So the Wisdom Charter seeks to address that issue. And I'm going to invite Bobby to speak more on that. But we only have 10 minutes. Thanks, uh, Felix. I need to touch on important issues. Um, the, this conference next day will be celebrating 10 years happening. Um, Yes, it started in, it started in 2014. Uh, it was just organized by a group of Wikipedians uh, to say, you know, we need to talk about African issues. We, we, we don't have a platform to talk about those African issues. And, you know, they just organized the conference and the first iteration of the conference took place in South Africa, in Johannesburg. <clears throat> what had happened then was, we were not organized, you know, as Africans. We were just, okay, uh, in fact, we just, we were just letting nature take its course on what the conference is going to happen or where it's going to happen. Yeah, just let nature, you know, take its course. But we didn't realize uh, after 2017 that there needs to be an organization of some sort. Uh, we need to form something that will guide the process, that will organize the conference. And in 2018 in Tunisia, then it was um, proposed that we need to have a wiki in Dara steering committee that will ensure that the conference happens annually. And this wiki in Dara steering committee will need to be formed by a reason, a question was raised, who needs to sit there? And then it was then suggested that it needs to be formed by the previous organizers of the conference because they already have the institutional uh, knowledge of what challenges are there, you know, how to organize the conference. So they need to come together and form the Wiki Industrial Committee, in short, uh, WISCOM. Now, WISCOM was formed. And then 
Um, uh, in 2019, in Nigeria, uh, co the community comes and they raise issues. Uh, who to cure now the, 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 the problems? Who to cure the problems? You know, we really did not you know, uh, settle into who is going to take the problems forward or who is going to be the custodian of um, the, the, the issues that we are raising. And it then happened that, you know, we then decided that, okay, it's fine. Wuscom can actually take over this, but we, we were not definite about it. It then happened that COVID came. After COVID, we then had the conference in, um, in Rwanda. Yeah, in Rwanda last year. And then the community came last, uh, the, the last year, it was a Sunday. Yeah, uh, 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 colleagues, I want to state something before I make the, my, this this comment of how Wiscom uh, was, how Wiscom's mandate was was extended. Talking is nice, you know, raising issues is nice. But when you have to strategize and talk about policies, it's not nice. And when you have to collect and put those policies in, in writing, it's not nice as well, you know? I write. I like to write about um, history on Wikipedia. I like to write about culture on Wikipedia. I like to write about politics on Wikipedia. I can go for days reading those kinds of articles, but if it comes to reading about uh, African agenda, yeah, I can see the African agenda. I'm trying to be realistic here, and I'm trying to employ you and join you to please be engaged in strategic documents in strategic issues that affects the African communities. If we send out as WISCOM uh, documents that affect you, that affect your future, uh, please, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, engage with those documents. So in short, I'm trying to say that WISCOM was then mandated by the community last year uh, in, in Rwanda to say, you guys, since you have the experience of, you know, putting the conference together and you have the institutional knowledge of the conference. You can as well, you know, gather all the problems that we are talking about and, you know, put the African agenda. So that's what the Africa, how the Africa agenda came about. Now we have WISCOM with the African agenda. And then something else was raised was to say, guys, you cannot just focus on organizing the conference only. No. Please, you need to be beyond that. Hence, we find ourselves today talking about uh, what is it that we can do in order to assist the African continent, you know, as we come. And then it was also raised that we cannot assist the African continent if we have this kind of structure of having only men, men conference. Someone actually mentioned this. Uh, we need to have women be inclusive. Uh, what happened after the conference in Rwanda was that we then, um, I'm just jumping around, we then uh, had a, a retreat uh, which was held in Johannesburg in July this year. Mm. Yeah, it was held this year after the community mandated us uh, to extend our you know, responsibilities. And some of these issues is what we were talking about to say, that's why I did not want to answer your question to say, uh, what about women? Why is it not really stipulated there? Because on the we, on that retreat, we then said we need to not only be a WISCOM, that is a men's conference. Someone said so. We should not be a men's conference, but we should be intentional about including women and we should restructure WISCOM and we should be uh, make sure that the communities, when they, they want funds, you know, small grants, they, they are sent quickly like this, you know. So we then put together something called a Wiscom Charter. That's why I'm, 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 I'm posing so that it just gets in there. And so there's the African agenda, which is a document that you need to read. These are comments and, view, and your views. And then there's the Wiscom Charter. Wiscom Charter was put by the Wiscom itself. You know, including including um, uh, stakeholders that we called from outside to say, um, how do we move funds from the African continent? Yeah, because I know that most of us here we, we are not looking for loans money. You no, know? we're just looking for to run. You know, but it's very difficult. So um, the Wisconsin Charter is there. 
we put it together and then what, what happened was then we i sent it out to you uh to actually 400 people so i'm not sure how many people here in the room have actually received that document that i've sent you received it you received it as well yeah you just okay yeah okay yeah so people have received that i'm not gonna call you and say what it says no i'm not gonna do that we don't have time and i don't want to expose you <laughs> all right sure five minutes okay yeah so um what i want to say is let me just take my paper <laughs> i actually wrote some notes uh, yeah but in, in 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 summary this is how the wiscom charter came about colleagues and um what i depend was we i sent the uh and i say i i don't like to say i we as wiscom wiki industrial committee we have sent the document to you to read i'm going to resend it again um after i sit down here so that those ones that did not receive can actually look through it you know um uh, please read that document and please remember my statement when I was talking about, you know, policy document being boring. Please engage with that because that determines the future of Africa and determines where we are going as an organization. That uh, Wiscom Charter speaks about how Wiscom needs to be composed. It speaks about the vision that we want to see ourselves in. It speaks about the roles and responsibilities. You know, it speaks about processes that we need to uh, put in place in order to make um uh, wiscom work better for us uh, i don't want to mention the word hub but yeah we're also looking to make wiscom a hub actually so yeah that's that's what it, what wiscom and wiscom charter is about and uh, thank you so much over to you <laughs> all right thank you very much Bobby. so we've said a lot but uh let me see if i can summarize right so basically i, I think we have has said is that the agenda, the document that we are capturing our thoughts on things that we want done on the continent, and the charter is spelling out the roles that Wisconsin will be taking over or taking on in order to serve the new amendment that was requested for by the community. So I think what Bobby is saying is that go back read the charter document, see if the mandate is that Wiscom is seeking to cover is something that you really want them to do. And then let us agree as a community or a region, okay, there's a hand, I'll come to you, as a region, what the mandate of Wiscom should be. Now, before I come to you, I like just quickly want to run through the, please go back. Quickly want to run through the, ah, ah, so the first page. I just want to run through this quickly. So um, what this time is seeking to do is to support our communities to be more resilient, to support our communities to be more successful. So this um, charter document actually spells out areas that nobody's filling currently on the continent and how we can, can take up those roles to help um, emerging communities, communities that exist, and those that are not even here to be able to thrive when they come around in the movement. So things like this one is seeking to be a leader, to lead a space in conversations like we're doing today, to ensure that the plight of Africans are being heard and being addressed. Um, making sure that we're building a bridge between Africa and other communities that are working on similar projects that we're uh, interested in, and facilitating conversations and making sure that the views of our people are heard. And then, Convening, which is what we do every day at Wiki Lava. Right? So these are some of the things that Wiscom is looking to do. Can you move to the next slide, please? Sorry. And these are some of the things that you see in the document. For example, Wiscom is looking to provide a structure for coordinating and facilitating collaborative decision making on the continent. The one that I'm very excited about is the last one. It says that support in the structure uh, a system to create institutional knowledge to support other conferences beyond Wiki Lava that is happening on the continent. So for me, I think this is a document that everybody needs to look at because if you don't speak, somebody else will speak for you. And if they speak for you, you can't come back and complain about it. I love it. Oh. So, 
<laughs> yeah, so because the previous movies coming up and the 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 stakeholders were I don't know how to go over to one of them, but we wanted to consult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to know the organization. So I think I will send you this to and you will have a key for the discussion. So we will get to the way we start. So we will get to the way we start. And we will get to the way we start. And we will get to the way we start. Yeah. I also want to add that I am coming that we also consulted uh, people that know about banking and money that And uh, yeah, people that are instructed to um, I think about the strategy of this And um, I think there were, um, yeah, I think the, the research that has been sent on to ensure that community can see that. And so I think it was a really close representation. I'm speaking with my opinion about the ideas. I'm speaking for us because I was 11 people. So. Yeah. And I think what, um, what uh, happened was that we saw them put together, speak to the resident group, and talk to them, um, um, give that document to the chapter, and we go to so many things. I have a question. Yeah. This, um, so um, this is a question, and it's also because I know there are also people here who are attending Wiki in the for the past. Yep. There are people here also who just recently joined their community, and I have to because I've also been a newcomer in this moment, and I'm wondering, I know I'm asking for a lot of people, why should I care about this organization? Why should I care about Wisdom Chatter, Africa agenda, when I'm just that newcomer in the movement who is worried about how do I have my ethics not reverted? How do I have, what would you tell that newcomer in this movement, that person actually making the house of the first time, why should they care about this conversation? They just name and language. I don't feel it and go with the ones to say this. Maybe I can ask um, uh, Shona, I think is just one of the leaders we recognize in our region who's been in the movement for so long. He can tell us why this conversation is important now, because it's important for us to also empower each other, right? Yeah, maybe yeah. I will give you your answer, Shona, maybe you can give your answer. Yes. I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. I think I just want to finish. Really, I'm sure I can answer. Okay. So the reason why I asked for this is that because a whole lot of men went into the retreat and decided what the movements should be. <laughs> and it's not necessarily that that happened oh, with that intention, but it could look like that. Do you know what I mean? And I think we have to also just be very careful about with the consultation that you, you know, if you're not used to center to person, you just send it to 400 people, you busy and everything like that. And this, it doesn't mean that there's anything intrinsically wrong with the chapter, but it's just, it doesn't send the same message that you're trying to say here, which is about being intentional, intentional about achieving, you know, voice or other voice. So just, I don't know. I, think I don't know how that, you know, you know what I mean? I just, just need to get it there. Thank you. I know, I know, I know. 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 Then others, uh, we like we were to say, uh, we did try our very best, and so then I don't know how to end. Uh, we were for their president, so it's not the president, so for some people, sometimes they're very difficult to take it. Uh, but we really want to get people started, like we may say, we're doing a conversation around 
how to say that is um, everyone comes along with me, someone got to the target, and then provided a safe for people to contribute and shape it to what it can be, and will be, but doing some of the things that are there for the state. We've had a budget for the last, I don't know how many years. Uh, people have been in this space for a very long time, for a half year. Uh, and someone that needs to help in bringing the agenda forward collectively. I think we're really good as a partner in moving our own agenda and supporting those that we want to be able to do, but we need to get a common collective agenda forward. And from last year, there's a feedback we have for us. We can need to do more than, than what we have done. Someone needs to step up and someone needs to help. Uh, and then I think we could learn from that, yes, but it's not that, that we, you know, we, we are still in the process of making it to run, the community needs to run, but someone needs to step up. And that also includes that we would hope we are shifting and shaping the reality that we wish people have, especially with people in different conditions. To care about the region, for those from the region, we are saying that it's more. While those are complaining, our position is everyone else. So, that's actually a good question. I think we saw as a learning session, we didn't have that agenda. So all the meetings that are the same is happening. This call is reflected to that. Not all of us are in need. We some they support your voices and mine. So at any point in time you can find the same thing. And we should be probably in the ministry, probably in the ministry, to be a second commander. You also can be the agenda. So we need to try our own. All our agenda, all our problems are to be solved by and to be led and to be worked on this time. So let's not be supported and let's not be worried about anything. I don't think we're going to have to change the agenda. Yeah. 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 I think it was um, there's something that I want to realize. Uh, no, I mean, you have very important questions, very important questions. I, I wish people would like to hear me. You know, because initially, when I spoke, um, giving a historical context of how Wisconsin came about and giving historical context of the African agenda. I spoke about history. Why are we dominated by main, main, men in the, in the movement? And it's history. How did Wisconsin come about? It's history, really. You know, communities chose a person, a representative, who will represent them at Wisconsin. I don't have the powers what, why Nigeria chose a man. I don't have powers why South Africa chose me as a man. And at the time, we was only men. Now, at least in our board, we've got women, you know. But all of the people that were chosen to stand at Wiscom, it was men. Mm. But what makes me happy is that we are looking to change that. And we are looking to be, there's the word, intentional about it. So that... Women also have a voice because we realize that this is a men's conference and it's not going to be fair, you know, to move forward like this. That's why we're changing with SCOM. Okay, the second thing that I want to cover is, has to do with, um, um, uh, please don't go, go away. I'm talking to my brain now. I sometimes speak to myself. <laughs> um, so the second thing that I want to talk about is the issue of not doing things. If you want to wait for things to be perfect, you never... Colleagues, I'm a leader, I know. You have to start with doing something. Just do. And then it will continue. Okay. So what we're doing here, what we're trying to do, we're not trying to be perfect, but we're trying to do it to just spark. And then we move. Mm. Because we can do that. Eventually, when we started in 2014, the conference, 
we just gave it to nature that nature was going to take take care of itself. I'm telling you, 2015, 2016, the conference did not happen. Yeah. Why? Because nature cannot. Someone needed to be intentional about it to say no. We need to form a, you know. And now we find ourselves here because someone pushed, you know. So what we are trying to do here is also to just give it a nudge. Um, closing is that's my closing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so in Bobby's words, just do. I don't know if you're doing a Nike commercial or but we'll just do it. Yeah, ah, really? They say these Africans, you know. please, um, please allow me to say this, and I say this with all the passion that comes from being a gender advocate. So um, for me, I feel very underrepresented when the conversation doesn't go beyond we want more spaces as women. But then I would love to see us beginning for this specific space. So I know in the agenda we have um, a section on community building. And I think this is a challenge to us as uh, women and gender advocates who are pushing for more inclusion of women to gather even as stakeholders who are really passionate about this and say, when we are gender inclusive, this is how our community would look like. This is where we want. Then I feel like empowered. I feel like we are pushing the conversation beyond just the basics. So it's a challenge for us. Let's Let's unite, let's have a small, maybe coffee or wine or something just during this in Daba and say, this is how we want to bargain for ourselves better. And we are the small group that we want to task those men's conference. Actually, I'm the one who called you guys that. <laughs> yeah, then it becomes something. So yeah, sorry, I have to say that. Okay, thank you for joining this session. Please go on and read the agenda documents, charter documents, have your voice to it. Make sure your voice is heard on there. So it's not just the men's con conference, like they're saying, curating a piece of document for the whole African continent. So thank you. Have a great day. Okay.